Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, for this episode, we are now in the second half of characters, so I'll be playing in Zhao Yuan away. But let's get started. I'm actually going to be in Wei for a little while, given this rotation. In 219 AD, Shu forces invaded Mount Dingjun, a key military outpost for the Wei army in the Hanzhong region. Opposing them was a Wei defense force under the command of Zhao Yuan and Zhang He. Zhang He engaged the Shu forces first at Mount Tiandong, but was quickly routed. He then quickly rejoined Zhao Yuan's forces at Mount Dingjun, and both commanders prepared for the imminent Shu invasion. The commander of the Shu invasion force was veteran officer Huang Zhang, the venerable yet fearsome warrior that camped high in the hills and looked down at the Wei camp, waiting to strike. Will Zhao Yuan succeed in defending Mount Dingjun? Okay, so for this, you're not allowed any bodyguards. You're on your own for this, pretty much. Okay, so the Ogre Rod, the level 11 weapon, it took me several tries to get, because the requirements are just downright ass. Okay, so you get a level 10 Tiger Amulet, level 19 Huang's Bow, level 19 Nanmon Armor, and level 17 Elixir. That doesn't surprise me, because Zhao Yuan is an archer in this game, and his first charge attack is a bunch of arrows. I don't know if Wong's bow affects that. But anyways, I'm gonna take out the Tiger Amulet because, well, level 10 should be good enough for this. I think I'm gonna give him the Speed Scroll to move him a little bit faster. And the Power Rune I don't really want anymore because, well, I had to use this kind of build to increase my offense because to get the level 11 weapon, you had to get around 300 or 400 KOs before Zhao Dun shows up at the 7 minute mark. That was painful to get, and some enemies will try to ignore you and go into the main camp. You have to make sure the main camp is defended for a set amount of time, or Wang Zhang is defeated, to win the mission. And if Zhang He is slain, which usually happens if too many troops get into the main camp, you lose. You can win if you run out of time, which is only 10 minutes, so you should be fine. How could I allow Mount Tian Dang to be taken? Not oh, dying. I suppose if you fight long enough, something like this will happen. Huang Zhong has deployed troops at the summit. All right. I have to go. Treat those injuries. Was that like the oh, Batista General. wave? How beautiful. My exquisite formation shall protect the main camp. <laughs> Okay, so what I have to do is make sure that these troops do not get in themselves. Usually when you see like a large squadron, some of them will actually run right past you to go to the main camp. So that's a little something you have to watch out for. To get the level 11 weapon, you are allowed some periods where soldiers get into the main camp, causing Zhang He to suffer a little bit more. You won't get immediately penalized or disqualified from the weapon if that happens. Just don't let it happen too much, otherwise you fail the mission altogether. I think I'd rather this map because it'd be a lot easier to see the troops. Okay, I'll just keep pushing the troops back a little bit more. Hopefully no troops like spawn behind me. Because that'd be pretty cheap. And I don't like cheap. Unless you're shopping for stuff, then the cheaper the better. Well, yes and no. When it comes to like certain foods, cheaper kind of is better because it's all the same. I mean, brand stuff isn't always better. Well, it depends on certain things. Like for example, you know, like Apple earbuds would probably break after like two weeks. I'm not going to use Apple because it's always Apple, but I'm like, higher brand companies, for example, tend to have like, very good stuff, and they break so easily. Meanwhile, you can get a bunch of cheapos, and they last you a long time. Sunglasses are the more glaring example, and I heard Jeff Foxworthy reference this, that, you know, if you have like, expensive sunglasses, they get lost instantly. They can probably disappear right in front of you. Meanwhile, cheap sunglasses, well, they just come back to you. 
people that steal your sunglasses, realizing they're cheapos, I'll bring them back to you. Because they're no value to them. Sometimes you gotta shop when you're on a budget. Well, shop effectively. I mean, everybody's gotta shop. Because you know, you can't really grow your own groceries unless you're living on a farm. You have to buy groceries, otherwise you die. Can't live on food stamps. Anyways, I'm just rambling, so I just gotta kill some troops more. Hey, 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 come back here. See, see what I mean? Like, troops will actually ignore you and go straight for the camp. They'll come back to you if you get a little too close. I've seen some instances where I was like point blank range and they still go for the camp. So that resulted in multiple saves scumming my way to get that weapon. And sometimes I failed because I was one or two KO shy when Jah Hodun showed up. That broke my heart even more. Because I was so close. Jah Ho Yuan is not exactly the fastest fighter. Sometimes park taking an elephant with you instead of a horse and parking at the main camp might have worked. But unfortunately the main camp gate is too wide. They still go around it. So it may not be in your best interest to go that route. An elephant might help you out for other levels. More on that later. So anyways, let's continue on here. Continue on, you on. <laughs> It seems like time flows a little bit slower in this game than it does normally. How about this? Oh great, now another stronghold arrives, so even more troops will appear. Don't bother sealing these strongholds, they unseal pretty quickly. Like almost within seconds. How fast? Well, we can always go to like the battle history and find out. Hey, hey, hey! Come back here. I'm supposed to die. Look at that! It's been unsealed right away. Okay, let's see when I seal it. 416. 19 seconds! That's pretty much all it takes. Well, 19 to 20 seconds between when it's sealed and when it's going to be unsealed again. Not a lot of time. And truth be pouring out there, even if it, it was sealed. Actually, not really, but still. That's probably because there's another stronghold to the far end of the map. So trust me, if you're trying to unlock this weapon, people think it's easy, it's not. Even if you max out his attack power rating, you might need a level 20 Tiger Amulet to survive it. And even then, each enemy's gonna take like multiple strikes. Not to mention, you gotta make sure they don't get away from you. Because every enemy that goes into the main camp, that, that could have been a KO you could have had. Hey! Hey! Don't run away from me, I'm, I'm talking to you guys. Look at this! I'm that close to them, they're still running. Oh, my arrow is missed. Okay, I managed to stop them. Oh man, they really pushed me back. That didn't take long. Huh, <laughs> 669. Ah, oh, they still managed to get into the camp. After all that. This is kind of to be expected. After a while, you just have no chance of blocking them all at once. Like, none whatsoever. They're just going to be coming out of the woodwork. Luckily, there is like a large meter of forgiveness in terms of letting the enemies through. Otherwise, like, you would be punished for every one officer or one enemy that gets in. 
You might get some punishment for one enemy going through, but then it might take another like five or so before you get punished again. Good, now Wong Zhang himself is here. Alright, so for this I might as well just let Zhao go and take care of the gate. And I'll go take care of Wong Zhang and end this mission quickly. Shall teach me nothing. I am unteachable. Oh, oh wait. Well, oh, unteachable by you, Wong Jong. Man, memories of getting my ass kicked by this guy trying to get Shahu Yuan's level 10 weapon. That was a painful mission. That was poetic justice. Kill Wong Jong with arrows. I will become one with the battlefield. And they all run away. Alright, we got through that one. Didn't let too many troops through, which is good. That only took like 8 minutes and 5 seconds. Well, it was expected to be a lengthy mission because you had to wait for Wang Zhang to show up. Anyways, enjoy the ending. We earned it. Wei officer born in Xiao in the land of Hei. Cousin of Cao Cao who served under him from the very beginning and fought in countless battles. Also a kinsman of Zhao Dun's. Together they formed the vanguard of Cao Cao's forces. Zhao Yuan excelled at surprise attacks, being able to mobilize his troops at an amazing speed. When Cao Cao was struggling against Ma Chao at Tong Gate, it was he who first came to his rescue. After Wei's occupation of Han Zhang, Zhao Yuan was placed in charge of his defense along with Zhang He. In 219 AD, the Shu army advanced to Mount Dingjun, a key strategic point within Han Zhang. Zhang He engaged the Shu army Mount Tiandong, but was injured and quickly routed. Shu commander Huang Zhang then camped on the high ground and charged down onto the Wei camp. With Zhang He incapacitated, it was up to Zhao Yuan alone to lend fend off the enemy. Zhao Yuan defended the camp successfully, proving he was a force to be reckoned with. When Cao Cao arrived to assist, he praised Zhao Yuan's valor, but also warned him that a general must not always rely on courage alone, but also on planning and discretion. Thankfully, Zhao Yuan died in that mission, but oh well. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Next episode, we're gonna go to Zhang Liao of Wei. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.